the small businesses of St. Genevieve play a big role in making this little town unique. I'm Bev Dante and this is Odile's Linen and Lace. Well, mostly we have linens and laces from all over the world. But we also have some other pretty gifts, and you girls need to visit the hat room before you leave. Uh, lots of pretty little hats. Oh my goodness, then we've got a lot of things that are good for the homes. My husband's mother started the shop in, um, oh my goodness, maybe, maybe 22 years ago. Well, we didn't anticipate mother dying quite so soon, so when she died, we uh, decided, we were away from here, and we decided we wanted to come back here to live and uh, own the shop. So, and uh, that's how I came about owning the shop in 1992. Uh, lots of people like the, like the curtains and like the table laces. This, this room, it has, this is our back room. We have lots of uh, lots of picture frames. I just have one or two of this little guy left. It's this idea. It took the heart of a child to reach the soul of the world. My name is Terry Greither, and I'm the owner of Sweet Things of St. Genevieve here in St. Genevieve, Missouri. Actually, this store started back in the early 90s. Mary Stewart opened the shop as Sweet Things, and two years into it, she got cancer and passed away. So her husband kept the business going until 2003 when I bought it from her. The favorite thing about Sweet Things is meeting everybody, meeting people. I meet people from all over the world, which is awesome, but you wonder what brings them to a small town like St. Genevieve. But... Who can take a rainbow? Who can take a rainbow? Wrap it in a side. Wrap it in a side. Soak it in the sun and make a groovy lemon pie. The candy man. The candy man. The candy man can. Lunch Cafe. It's called Stella and Me Cafe. We have been up and going. It'll be three years in November. Um, I love to cook and I decided that um, enough people had encouraged me to open a lunch cafe on my own. That um, Stella is my daughter and I am me. <laughs> it provides another place, great place for people to eat. And I kind of like our idea philosophy that we don't have a fryer in the kitchen and we don't really have a grill. Um, so everything that we're doing is either uh, prepped ahead or, you know, made by different cooking methods than, you know, deep fat frying or on a grill. Business is First Settlement Country Store. This business got started because we traveled and did shows everywhere and we got tired of traveling and this opened up and this way we could stay home because we're the one of the only that stays open seven days a week. Yes, but we have tourism all year round mm -hmm. and then we have a lot of out-of-state dealers that come in periodically and buy from us. I mean, we do get out-of-country dealers but they they're confused about American antiques. <laughs> After all the information that we have gathered, we conclude that the small businesses of St. Genevieve impact the community in many positive ways, such as yummy candy from Sweet Things, wonderful food from Stella and Me, and beautiful antiques from Odile's and First Settlement. I'm working at Inno Deals. This is one of the many amazing game thingies. I'm going to finish. <laughs>